Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and its ability to develop your raw photos. Those are photos you shot in raw mode with your digital camera and do it automatically. That eliminates your need to have to tweak every photo with a color temperature and a slide bar and a tweaker and everything else in order to get a decent looking picture. QImage does this automatically in most all cases. Let me show you a few samples. Here's a nice red rose that was done automatically and you can see a very very perfect exposure. Here's another and I'll put my pointer over the image, hit the space bar and that's another one. And let's see if we can find another one for you. Oh well. Okay, here's one here. Here's another one. And you can see that's just about perfect. And that's all done automatically. Once in a while, you run into a tough one. And we have one to show you here. This is a photograph where the photographer, I'll hit the space bar again, wanted to capture the drama of the sky and keep it and in doing so he lost the foreground. It's so muddy it's bad. Normally a photographer when he wants to do something like this has to take two pictures one of the sky and one of the foreground and then blend them together in a high dynamic range photograph. This is HDR. I'm sure you've heard of it. Well, QImage has the ability to do this with one photograph, not two. Let me demonstrate. I select my image by clicking on the thumbnail, right click, I click on Refine Raw Exposure, and here comes our grid. Now, each one of these grid squares represents a different exposure. If you click on a dark one, it's going to lighten everything. Whoa! Okay, to remove it, just right click on your pointer. And if you find some other area, like um, over here, we'll say. Okay, just darkened it a little bit. I don't know if you caught that. But right now, we're looking for a combination of this dynamic sky and this muddy lost foreground. So let's get started. We take our pointer and we find a very, very bright spot. Let's go here on this edge of the cloud, hold down the pointer, the right hand mouse button, and you see that you have numbers that are 255, 255, 255, representing the brightest you could possibly do with a digital camera of this type. So we have to correct that. We lost detail in there, and that's what we're trying to preserve. So we select that grid square or anywhere. We could use this one too. That's got the same bright spots. And we look at our reminder message that says click again to recover the highlights. So we'll click again. And now we have a red border around it. And the picture got a little bit darker. We changed the exposure. Let's see what we did. Hold down the right mouse button. 246, 246, 246 instead of the 255. Aha! Well, we corrected that part. Now all we have to do is use QImage's unique fill light and brighten up the foreground. So I'm going to click a few clicks here on this line that says fill and bring it up until the picture go looks good to you. Now you can slide the slider or you can click as I'm doing and we get to there. I think that looks about right. But we don't have that same drama in the sky. So what we have to do is use the HDR slider, the high dynamic range, and put back the range we had. Okay, we're going to slide this over, and the object of this is for you to remember what the original looked like and try to bring it back to about the same spot. I don't know, I think we're pretty close right about here. So I'm going to stop and save. And in the meantime, I'm going to look at this JPEG version of the same picture. I want you to see this. Then you'll get the effect and the understanding why it's imperative that you shoot your pictures in raw mode. Here's the JPEG of the same picture, which I've already lightened or brightened in order to save time. And you can see that the best I could do is kind of a wishy-washy sky, a flat 
worthless foreground that's lost all its contrast and dynamics. It's uh, pretty much a throwaway picture. But let's see what we've got here with the same picture shot in raw mode. I hit the space bar and there's our picture. We've preserved the sky, we've got a usable foreground. It's a pretty darn nice picture. I think you got the point, you got the, the idea, and you understand the unique, wonderful tools that you get with QImage Ultimate. I thank you very much for listening, and we'll talk to you next time.